Scheduling posts can make a world of difference. But how does one organize and schedule their posts correctly and efficiently? Well, let me show you how to in this video. Let's make a right left. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? What's up good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza and welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, then subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. Social media without posts are basically blank canvases with nothing to say. Every post is a valuable effort to expand your brand and you need to get those posts out there. Now scheduling posts make it easier to maintain a steady flow and movement of your brand's message. However, taking time to post on all social media every day can be overwhelming. Needless to say, there are options out there to help you accomplish your goals. Buffer, for instance, is a really good tool to help organize and schedule your posts. Personally, I like to set up about a week worth of posts utilizing a Buffer on all my social media outlets. With Buffer, you can set up posts for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google+, as if anyone really uses Google, and Pinterest. This is a free platform with uh, limited options. However, they do have a paid option, which is about $15 a month. Uh, real quick, the major difference between the two is the free version only allows you to utilize three social medias. So you could do three different Facebooks, or you can mix it up and do Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. But if you purchase the $15 a month, not only can you set up more than say a week worth of time, uh, but you can also get up to 10 social media sites. So ultimately, whatever your needs are, I would look at that. And then if you can utilize the free one, go for it. If you have to buy the $15 a month one, Go for that too. A little helpful bonus tip is any post that you do send on to say Twitter, just make it go on all the sites. Now that you can schedule your posts, how does one write a post? Well, take a photo before, during, and after you do something within your said field of interest. Now, write how you feel about said experience. These posts can be scheduled within your Buffer app on your phone as they happen. So instead, spending hours doing it in one day, you can actually spread it out as you do it and build your queue within the Buffer app. And also think about it, every photo you take is good for one post per day. And one post can go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest, and Google Plus. But again, I don't really use Google. And if you think about it, if you take a photo before, during, and after any specific event within your field of interest. And let's say your day consists of going to a business meeting and then going to practice or rehearsal. That's two events, therefore six photos. So that's potentially six days worth of posts. Personally, if I had six usable photos with six usable brand messages based on my experience of what I'm doing within my field of interest and the adventure, I would probably spread those photos throughout the month and not necessarily every day thereafter. I, would, I wouldn't make them consecutive posts. I might do a photo of the meeting, say, tomorrow. And then next week, I might do it on the same day. And then the third photo, I might do two weeks from that point uh, on a Thursday. And the same thing with the other one. Mix it up. Create some diversity. And the best part is, if you take those photos and you write out your experiences and, you know, <laughs> when you have a lull in your day, be it you're on transit, some people like to take the bus or in New York, the subway, you can then schedule your buffer with those photos and start organizing your posts for the rest of your week. You might think that scheduling posts come off impersonal or slow down your interaction per se mostly because those posts could potentially come off as bots playing around. To keep from sounding robotic and impersonal, write those posts within your brand's voice. Additionally, simply express how you feel 
about what's going on within that post. Now, obviously the advantage of scheduling a post is it frees up some time. You spend a little bit of time each day or uh, building up your queue, and then eventually you don't have to worry about it. However, you still need to do your job, and your job is interacting with your fan base, interacting with those social media, because interaction creates reaction from your audience. Because you don't want to rest and solely rely on scheduled posts. It becomes dull and unemotional. People don't really see you. They're just seeing things. And that will eventually turn into content. And even if it's a post about your experience and your venture, you have to interact so people know you exist and it's not just a schedule. In fact, a really good tool is to slip real-time posts in there occasionally to mix it up. Because if you do this, if you schedule posts, if you interact, if you occasionally post real-time posts, if you add your adventure and the experience of that adventure into your posts, you will most likely and more productively be talking with your audience instead of at your audience and therefore building an emotional relationship and most of all, a connection. Helpful tip! Best way to organize your posts are with categories. Educate, entertain, enlighten. A post which entertains is based around your adventure. Basically showing that experience and emotional presence to that adventure. Learn more about experience posts by watching uh, this video. Giving information where your audience learns something about you, your field, or just something new. That is an educational post. And to enlighten people with inspirational, motivational, or aspiring posts are a great way to elevate your brand's message. And this will help keep your posts mixed up and interesting. And the really fun part about understanding what these categories are, the entertainment, the education, and the enlightenment, is if you ever feel stuck and you don't know what to post and or say based on a photo you take, because you're doing something within your field but you don't know how to express it, how does this particular moment that you captured encompass entertainment, education, or enlightenment? And just brainstorm on that. And that could be part of your to-do, because you should be, you know, brainstorming at the beginning of your day and at the end of your day. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at the people around you because you want to work together so you can grow together and therefore rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, here. I just want to point out, this is right, left, here. But to me, this is right, left, here. I'm just saying, what? I'm, I'm trying to explain what, there, it's mirrored. It's not, no. Okay, all right. <laughs> Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, here? Uh, do you, punk? Is that, I did the slight, could you? <sighs> Oh dear.